Minecraft survival mode. It's too easy. Minecraft players have proven that hard mode and hardcore mode are still easy to survive in for a very long time. Now yeah, occasionally Minecraft players are going to need to eat food. But once that hunger bar is full, you're back on your merry way. So what happens when you introduce the need to drink and also temperatures to the game? And it's not as simple as just drinking stagnant water because you'll make yourself sick. So not only do you need to eat in Minecraft and drink, you need to purify that water. But you also need to keep an eye on the temperatures. Now that I've told you this, do you think you can still survive easily in a Minecraft world? I don't know how you guys liked that intro, but I thought I would try something a little bit different. Welcome back, my name is Echo, and today I bring you a Minecraft mod add-on pack that is going to make your Minecraft experience 10 times harder. This is called Advanced Survival Rules, also known as Tough as Bedrock, and this is a recreation of the Minecraft Java mod pack called Tough as Nails. The credit for the recreation on Bedrock goes to Wiro underscore TMD. I'll leave a link down below as to where you can find them and also a download link. So when you start this for the first time, in your Minecraft world, you will be given a glass bottle. But like I showed you, on the introduction, you can't just drink this because you'll get sick and you'll be stuck with the nausea effect. If you get this effect, your water is going to deplete a lot faster. So this is instantly going to change your Minecraft experience. The main focus is still going to be get a bed and get food, but your priority now is going to be get as many glass bottles as you can because you need to purify it. So let me teach you the basics behind this. Once you manage to get yourself the glass bottles, what you want to do is fill these up. You can fill these up in the oceans, in the rivers, etc. So with the sun beaming down on you, your temperature will begin to increase. Now I'm in a plains biome, so we're okay here for now. But obviously if you start entering deserts or savannas, or Badlands biomes, your heat is going to increase. Then you're going to be set on fire. There's two ways you can purify your water currently. And then we've got to get this water and put it inside of here. Um, so, yeah, weirdly you got to, like, go over these in your hotbar for them to kind of, like, flash. And then you can put them in there. So you're able to use a furnace. Once you've done this, as you can see, we'll end up with a purified version of water, which you can drink. Now, the only downside I have to this is that your water resources deplete way too fast. Like, in a Minecraft survival world, you're instantly panicking. My advice would probably not be to mess around with a furnace. It's good for quick actions, mm. but this thing is going to be your best friend. And of course, this is a campfire. But you probably notice that it's not lit right now. There's a reason for that. And the reason is, if this is lit and you're stood by it, it is going to increase your temperature. Because as you know, if you stand by a fire in real life, you become incredibly hot. That's what you got to watch out for. So another great way to get yourself bottles a lot faster is going to be the campfire. And all you want to do there is simply just tap on these on each corner. Very similar to how the food works. You just need to tap on this and you'll end up with four bottles instead of having to do them one by one inside of a furnace. Simple as just drinking it and it's going to bring your water all the way up. And after around about 30 seconds, they will begin to pop off and you'll end up with more water. Like I said, the only thing I would request now would be the fact that like it, it depletes way too fast. Now, what you'll notice is if I'm just walking regularly, that they don't deplete as fast. But like hunger, if you start sprinting, you'll notice that your water resources starts to drop. It's a very, very sunny day. It makes sense. But watch out, if you spend too much time near a campfire, you'll set yourself on fire. Now obviously ways to cool yourself off is gonna be spending some time in some water. You'll notice that your temperatures will begin to drop. Other ways to do this is you can stand on ice as well. This is going to bring your temperature down, and you can also stand on snow. It will bring down your temperatures 
once again. And as you can see, I'm now back to what is considered the perfect temperature. But don't spend too much time on snow or ice because you will begin to freeze. But if you enter a cold biome, the temperatures are reversed. So if you're in a cold biome, you are gonna begin to freeze. That is snowy biomes, tiger biomes, extreme hill biomes, or if you enter icebergs or ice spikes, you will become cold. And if it begins to snow or rain, conditions become a lot harder to survive in. And if it's nighttime, they're even more multiplied. So you're in big trouble. So now I'm starting to freeze. So how can you stop yourself from freezing? Well, the best method is get yourself some leather armor. Leather armor will keep you warm and will keep your temperature at the right temperatures. You can see here, my temperatures are increasing. Also, if you're in a cold biome, you can hold things like torches and, and lanterns or even lava. So by holding these, your temperature is also going to drop as well. And if you're in big trouble, you can place down your lantern and obviously place down your campfires and hold yourself a torch or hold yourself a bucket of water, which will increase your temperatures a lot faster, as you can see here, which is going to prevent you from freezing. So yeah, after everything I've told you, do you still think you could survive in this Minecraft conditions? But don't get too comfy by doing this. Because even though you're in a cold biome and you're trying to warm yourself up, you can incredibly fast overheat yourself. So you gotta be smart. Don't spend too much time in one place. When we move, our temperatures will also begin to reduce once more. You are going to need fire resistance potions more than ever when you enter inside of here. Otherwise, you will get yourself killed. I would say you've got about four minutes inside the nether dimension before you begin to overheat. And obviously if you have armor on, your temperatures are going to increase. So I feel like the nether is like apocalypse mode. And I don't think many of you are gonna be able to survive in these conditions. I really do think that this opens a whole new door for surviving in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Do you think you could do it? Give yourself a try and let me know in the comments section how long you survive for. I'm gonna drink some water and I'm out of here. Catch you all in the next video. Thank you.